Are you ready? Are you ready to take a journey through the cosmos? Are you ready to see the dimensional doorways to reality? Yeah, <laughs> you grow. Yeah, he grow up. He real grow. So um, don't okay. let me be grown. <laughs> okay. Peace out. Um. Anyway, for help. You know, I see it like you said earlier. With a lot of people are concerned, but I see a lot. This is stressing a lot of people out this month, dude. Too with the whole um, COVID situation. Yeah, um, a lot of people are stressed out. This is also the spirit is saying like those who those who do uh, um, meditation need to meditate. Um, a lot of people because they're not moving around as much. Also, the spirit said they need to take. Um, Vitamin C. Vitamin C is good for uh for that. But I, I just see uh I see a lot of stress this month. So people are gonna have to find they're gonna have to find um outlets, you know, to relieve some of the stress, whether it is you working out, you, you know, some people gotta like to go out or whatever. Whatever it is that you do to relieve stress, you need to do it because this is this spirit just showing this is a real stressful month for a lot of people. Going into the getting ready to go into the holidays, a lot of people are worried about uh, finances also because of that. We'll get into the finances so, in a minute. Um, and to add what he's saying, um, family, uh, Nicole, you asked me about uh, CMOS. Now, you know, one of the things I'm very big on family is going to spirit, going to the ancestors, right? So everything is not for everybody, right? So everybody wants to make CMOS. Everybody thinks CMOS works for them, but your body, everybody's body is different. So you have got to remember. I would go to spirit, I would go to ancestors, ask ancestors, what is good for me? Because believe it or not, they will show you. <laughs> I remember years ago, my daughter, she had a C-section, long story short, and they didn't soak her upright. And when she came into the room, blood was squirting out like a water force out of her stomach, right? So when, when she had come into the room, you know, automatically I stopped. So I went straight to the ancestors. I said, what do I need to give her to heal? Because... They didn't close her upright, and then she got infected in the inside of the uh, C-section. Mm -hmm. Now, y'all know I used to be a physician assistant, so I kind of knew what to do. Well, I took her to the hospital. They wanted to give her a blood transfusion. I wouldn't let them do it. I said, no, you give her some iron. Give her some iron. We're going to build her. You're not giving her blood transfusion. So they did that, and then we did, you know, uh, did that. Hey, Ke hey Kevin. Hey, cuz, how you doing? I know all is well. You want to tell them why you didn't want to give them? Why you want, didn't want her? Well, I didn't want her to have a blood transfusion because I didn't. She wasn't sure if the blood was good. For yeah. one, I don't. Because they do make mistakes. Yeah, like they, that. You know, <laughs> no, no. But when I I've tell them, I too. had them doing. Did you give her iron every hour, every two hours? Give her iron. So when they did it, her blood count came back up. But then she was in a hospital. She had infection for nine days. Uh huh. they kept, you know, treat the uh, uh, infection. It wasn't healing it, right? And um, I was like, uh-uh, give me my child. I took her home and I healed her at home. I started giving her nothing but greens. I went to the ancestors. I said, ancestors, I went to my great, great, no, my great, yeah, my great grandfather, who I was told in the family that was a medicine man. Kevin, you know what I'm talking about. Um, on the van and everybody, I noticed that John Mobley was a medicine man. He used to travel from Florida back and forth. So I called upon him as an ancestor. And he came in my dreams, y'all. And he told me, I want you to get the, this herb called Yaro. And then when I got the herb, when she got home, I put it across the um, the, the, the C-section and it healed it. The next day it was cold. No word of a lie. I'm not even exaggerating. And then I was giving her the Yaro inside to heal the infection inside. My daughter was healed within a week. Within a week. Mm -hmm. I let her do, the hospital do what they had to do, and after a week, I was like, "Y'all not trying to kill my child, right?" All right, so I put a candle on my altar, then it was what, what, what? Hold on, hold yeah. on. Good. Oh, good. Okay, see more. Can spirits move? Neil, I'm coming down the line. I'm gonna answer your uh, question next. Can spirit move things? Yes, they can. If you got some demons up in your house, <laughs> <laughs> if you got some demons. 